poor place. There is fire everywhere. At least the portal was intact, but it's gone. I mean, the ship's sort of there, but the village is all burning. The church is in pieces. It's all gone. All of it. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see how bad the damage is. Hopefully the uh, the creatures in the area will ignore us. It's getting towards daylight. The sun's just about to come over and we can just... It's going to shine some light on what's happened here. Ah, oh, the devastation. Look at the size of that crater. Even the shed was gone. Is anything intact at all? Like the pier is in pieces. Like, we have to watch our step coming over here. The ship, it's on fire. Now, this bridge has survived the devastation, but the windmill is near enough gone. Demolished. It's only a little bit of damage on this house out here. So this farm seems to have at least survived a little bit. Picking our way through the fire, the city seems to have been hit. And it seems to have taken some serious damage. I mean, how bad can the damage be? If we take a walk through the city... I think the steps are taking a bit of damage here. Oh. Actually, the damage could be pretty bad. The airship's nearly gone there. Fires are everywhere. The land's not even safe. <laughs> it's just... What's the marketplace like? The marketplace is near enough gone. That looks like... Well, that's broken. The, the air tower there is broken. So if this is how bad the outer city's been damaged, how bad has the inner city been damaged? Oh, even the lifts have been damaged and taken out. Can we still get up there? The bridge can just about be navigated. At least the moat is more or less intact, but the wall has taken a bit of a beating. Oh, there's a gap there. Oh, this is not looking good. Fire's burning up there. The museum is gone. Totally gone. Look at that. The stables have gone. The fungus blasting chamber is gone. Fungus blasting chambers looks weird with the way the waterfall's coming down. We've got water pouring out the top of the elevator shafts. This house is going. That ship is near enough gone. Devastated. As are the farms down the front here. I dread to think how the spire looks. The spire is in pieces. Oh, look at that wall of water. Just pouring down. Can we get in there? That wall of lava. Coming down from the upper parts of the spire. Mixing the water. We've lost pretty much the pool in the middle. That's probably just underneath all that lava. That's what remains of the kelp farms. The kelp farms are still mostly there, but some of it's been damaged. Okay, is that just not loading in, or is it just... Oh, no, it's not there. It's not loading in. It's just not there. Wow. What's the... Look at the flames rising up across everything. But this is devastated. What's... That's the flower farm. That's our cocoa bean farm. That's still sort of there. But our treasure room is gone. Like, our storage room is vanished completely.
This is the front of the base. You can see, oh, you can see how pretty it looks. <laughs> it does kind of look pretty. But look at those ships just burning. And the iron farm. This is where the iron farm stood. Or wants to. You can just about see the remains of the ice farm up there. But the iron farm's completely gone, as have these side tunnels over here. And that ominous look in the distance of flames in the background. That's all that remains of the air harbour. We need to go and see if we can get through to that. What's happened to the fleet? I have to step carefully across here. Make sure we don't fall through it. The golf farm seems to be mostly intact. It's just damaged at the top surface. But the rooms above, but the tower. I mean, it's gone. That's almost like, looks like sparks coming down there rather than rain. And the air fleet is gone. These are the airships. This is the pier that came out. Like, entire ships just vanished. Flying down. The gardens are just ablaze. The trees are gone. Well, like Draken, and this is the Draken Gameworks, or what's left of the Draken Spire. It's in paces. It is blown to smithereens. And with the shaders on and with the rain coming down, it feels very apt with the flames as the spire burns. Such a shame to lose the spire. We can't allow it to end like this. Of course, you want to know what really happened. Go and have a look at Unorthodox Blocks Extra that came out earlier in this week on this channel. But we're going to have to get this all back up and running. I'm going to have to do a bit of spring cleaning, I think. But with the way things are at the moment here, I think we should go and maybe do a little bit of work elsewhere from the spire. Because... Yeah, with it all destroyed in this way, it's going to take us a little while to get it cleaned up. Well, with all that destruction back at the Dragon Spire, it's time to go and find somewhere else to go and sort of hang around for a little while. So another little fantasy place and... Oh, why is there some... Someone's left a bit of um, hay around here, actually. Better pick that up a second. Before we come back to this fantastic build, we have shown it off previously on uh, our videos before, but this is Grey's build down at our spawn island. I love the designs on it, it's very inspirational. And once you put the shaders on as well, the place just comes alive. Look at the lighting around here, but also just the design. His design builds here are absolutely awesome. I am always envious of his design. And it just looks awesome around here. And you've got the dragons in the sky there flying over. Looks absolutely awesome over here. But there is a very specific reason why we're over here. And it's sort of kind of to do with what we can see sneaking through there in the distance. I think actually we may not be able to get out of here. We've sort of built ourselves into a bit of a cul-de-sac down here, actually, I think. Uh, kind of locked in and these houses haven't got any way through at the moment. But yeah, I mean, there's another dragon over there as well. I haven't noticed that one before. Um, but yeah, the reason we are down in his base at the moment is because because he has built uh, a new part to the base, which is, uh, you know, he's built these sort of harbors and everything else going around here. We can fly over here, we'll have a look at these. Uh, if we just steer ourselves in and try not to crash. There we are, try not to crash, he says, as he smacks his head straight into a pillar. But yeah, you, you know he's built these harbors, and we've got some of the guys that come down here and built some stuff, like uh, you've got uh, Beard has come down here and built his Viking thing here. Lady Bex has actually uh, grazed this place with one of her rubber ducks as well. And we've also got some grey ships over here as well. But um, yeah, it's absolutely awesome. And uh, obviously we built the airship over there before. But he's actually now built an airship dock. And uh, if there's a dock for an airship, then it's only fair that the master of the airship should come down and actually build an airship. So time lapse time.
and this is the airship. Oh, look at that. It's a Demelza class airship. I'm actually going to call this an, an Orthoblox class airship because technically this is a variant. So it is Demelza class, but it's a variant of the Demelza class. Because you see, the normal Demelza class was a military vessel. You see two of these floating outside the Drakenspire. But this one actually has slightly less cannons. You see, it's only got three cannons on uh, either side on each of those two decks, and the bottom deck doesn't have any cannons at all. Whereas the Demelza class, this was filled with cannons, and there were more cannons up in the upper deck as well. But you see, you've got a lot of portals there, and there's also like an extra sort of um, glass area at the front here. The whole concept being is that though the base design is very similar to the Demelza, the Demelza is a military warship, this one is actually more of a trading vessel, and that's because Grey's sort of History with this place is that this place is more of a trading nation, so uh, it needs to rely on outside support and everything else. And of course, us being the Draken Empire, are more than happy to oblige. We have an airship here that we can actually send off down here. I didn't notice that with that. That's sort of changing shape and glowing, I suppose. It's supposed to be sort of maybe swaying or something like that. Uh, or maybe it's to do with the light. But yeah, the shade looks weird on that. I didn't notice that before. Um, we left a block there actually we better pick that one up um, <laughs> I'm just noticing things as we're going around here but yeah this is our base itself uh, not base itself it's an airship uh, we called it the IDAV on all for blocks skies uh, sticking with the uh, the whole tradition we have the Demelza skies and the Draken skies and now we've got the iron orphan block skies um, this one is designed as I say more of a trading ship it's bringing loads of cargo down here so on the normal Demelza class, this is normally cannons at the back here. We've got the two cannons facing at the back here, but the other four cannons that would normally occupy this room are now got portals instead, and we have extra cargo sort of being stored in there. And then if we come around, you've got the bridge up there, which we can sort of climb up to. That's space for a map up there. Oh, why is that open? That shouldn't be open. But yeah, we've got a space for a map over here, and then we can actually go down. Uh, we've got like this extra balcony bit around here. We'll explore that in a second. But we have uh, like the cargo hatch here. We've got loads of extra cargo up here. There's a couple of cannons at the front here. There's two cannons here. There were more cannons than that on the Demelza class, but again, the space has been made for more cargo on this de on that deck. Then we come into this deck, come down the stairs. We've got more space. Cargo has been sort of crammed in everywhere it can. There's a, a little quarters in here, so that's for like any sort of guests that are coming on here. And there's a few of those. So we come around here. We've got the few cannons here. But um, yeah, there's another quarters just tucked in here, and they sort of the quarters are sort of tucked in in various places, and I've just managed to actually put myself to sleep in here actually, so that's good. Uh, right, go back out of there, and then we got a couple more quarters down the front here. There's one on either side here, and then this one leads through to the main front cabin. Uh, I think, oh no, this is the captain's cabin, sorry, I should say, wrong way around. So this is the captain's cabin, so this is very much similar to the one with the Melza class, so we've got uh, like a little extra piece here, we've got uh, like the walk-in wardrobe. I should stop trying to launch rockets when I'm on here. Uh, we've got that in there, and then this has got like the door at the back here that leads to that balcony that we saw that was going all the way around the outside of the actual ship itself, and, and leads back up to the deck itself. Uh, so the captain has quite a modest size uh, quarters there, but he's got a couple of guest quarters just in front of his. Um, and you also got like a door here that leads, this is what I was trying to refer to a minute ago, this is like the main, this is like the pristine uh, guest quarters here. So it's got an extra double bed and this is at the front of the ship. So you've got these extra sort of windows here that sort of look out the front and we can see the town down below just in front there, but that's awesome there. Then we've got the side bits at the side here looking back out onto the uh, the air harbour there. You can see something peeking over there in the distance. We'll come back to that in a second. But yeah, that looks awesome. But if we come back out to here, we've also got another stairwell just here, which we can go down. That brings us to more cabins that are just tucked away down underneath here. Um, again, just more space for people to come and have uh, sort of carry passengers and stuff. Then we've got a bunch of double beds down here. That's just for the crew. And then we've got like access to that front uh, castle, the front here. But we can again we can look down you can see there now lady bex's uh, rubber duck there sitting around in the harbor but otherwise yeah we've got uh, the town is there just visible from this side here and we come down over to this bit and yeah if we go uh right where are we going i don't know where we're going I, I should know where i'm going this is my ship i designed it oh yeah we're coming towards the back of the ship and again we've got a couple of cannons along here um actually a bit more than three i think we have four cannons on this deck but uh yeah, we've got a few cannons on this deck. Not again as many as there are on the Demelza class, but we come to this, and this is actually designed at the back here, or yeah, this is the back of the ship. It's pretty similar on this deck. It's got all the um, 
the galley there and it's got like the tables and everything else so you've got the galley for people to sort of go and grab their food and everything else while on there and you've got a little brig there just in case anyone's being unruly on the ship and then coming into here we've got basically like uh, a senior rates uh, mess hall as well where they can sort of sit around basically they stay separate from the rest of the crew so they're not just having to sleep amongst all the uh, all the rest of the place and then there should be and i'm trying to remember where it is i think it is it's, i've managed to tuck these away quite nicely there there it is this one is tucked away there's a little ladder just tucked in here if we go down into here this is the bottom cargo deck here so this is filled with cargo so on the normal demelza class this would have been filled with cannons with a little bit of space for cargo the cannons have been taken out completely and now this is all just cargo down here because as i say this is more of a trading vessel here we've got a little escape hatch there at the bottom and then if we come to the back here we've got like a little exit here as well that we can just fly out of and yeah the other bit i wanted to show you because i'm really happy with the way that one turned out that sort of variation so we might keep that variation and do some a couple more of those around the uh, the server at some point but it takes a long time to build it's more this balloon at the top is a massive balloon and uh, it's a lot of work to do the top of the, the, uh, the ship itself but the rest of the ship uh, comes along quite nicely quite happy the way that turned out we also put a load of cargo down on the pier here so we've got like a little uh warning ramp there we've got all this cargo here but yeah have a look at this i i, I don't mind showing this off now because uh gray's already shown it on his own videos already but these are gray's airships these are the ones that he built uh docked up to here and they look absolutely awesome i love the designs this is based on some of his sailing ships which is pretty much how got a lot of the airships actually fantasy sort of style airships is like uh, base it on a sea ship but anyway so he's based these on the sort of sea ships that he's already built but uh He's uh, sort of modified it up, and instead of having balloons on top, he's put propellers on there as well, which I think is looks absolutely cool and awesome. And he's got those extra wide engines, which I like the look of at the back as well. Uh, if we can sort of look over the top, it lets me... Oh, I've fallen down through the hole. Not sure why he's got all of these holes in the deck. That seems a bit unsafe. Maybe a bit of health and safety there. Um, he hasn't put any cargo or anything down in the bottom deck here. That would be cool. It'd be nice to see the inside of this done. But yeah, he seems to have like some extra bits in the back here as well. Uh, like a little uh, maybe it's like crew table and stuff like that maybe I'm not sure maybe that's what it's doing at the back end but yeah it's a pretty cool design I like it I really do like it but uh, yeah looks very very fancy um, and again I like the fact that it's different he hasn't gone for just basically following the same idea that I had with mine which was to put the balloons on the top which you know it's a very traditional way of doing it he's actually gone and put the propellers on instead um, seen a few pieces of artwork that have that same idea like just multiple large propellers on the top of the ships and uh, doing sort of steampunky sort of magical airships like that but I, I i love the look the look looks fantastic i think it's awesome and then you've got this smaller one as well that he's put up here like uh, the miniature ones which again like we do we do like the bigger and larger uh, airships we also do some of the smaller ones and Oh, might help if I actually land on the thing um, but yeah he's got these uh, the smaller one as well patrolling up here we'll probably build a couple of smaller airships as well but it's kind of nice it's like you've got multiple different nations with different designs of airships sort of sitting around and there's always more than one solution for propulsion so yeah I think that works really well uh, I'm guessing that's the hold in there I'm not going to drop into there in case uh, I can't get back out again and want to do that but uh, yeah, it's looking cool. It is looking very, very cool. I mean, these airships that Grey's done look awesome. It would be nice to see if a couple of other people come over and build some airships and stuff like that. I think there was mention that someone else might come and do one as well. I'm probably going to build one or two small airships as well, so I'll dock them up. Maybe either dock them up along the side here, which is one of the ideas that Grey had for it, or the other one is I might just have one or two up in the air, just like he has here with that one up in the air. One idea that we come up with is because this down here, you see this big square, that belongs... Well, that did belong to Forge One, and it was going to be his guardian farm. That um, Forge One is uh, not going to be returning back for this season. He's going to be, uh, he may be back for the next seasons, which would be awesome. But uh, he basically feels like he's done everything he can on this uh, the server for this season. Um, so that guardian farm has basically been left up for grabs, and we've sort of been talking about ourselves amongst ourselves on the server. We're sort of thinking, well, actually, we could make that into sort of a community build, but we would also want to sort of make it look like it fits into the area. And actually, as it's not far from this airship, what I could do is put like, a, I've been talking about building like one of the Scylla class airships or something like that that sort of floated along with this one to sort of guard it on its route here. And I could actually position it above that Guardian farm to give us the perfect AFK spot that's on the airship. 
so that's what I might do with that bit. But um, we'll probably also build a bit of a build over the top of it, maybe like a bit of a rock or a mountain to, to hide up the fact that the Guardian Farm is there and actually do a proper build of the Guardian Farm. But we've got a few discussions amongst some of us about how we might do that and how we might build that farm up as a, a community Guardian Farm. But it should be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is what we've built over here. It's been nice actually just to be over here, have a bit of a break away from the Dragon Spire uh, and just doing a bit of design build here. And I love the fact that you, as it's over on this side, our one here, as you're coming through town, if you just look at the view as you come through town now. So as we come through here, you come through the sort of marketplaces and stuff like that. You can now just see sort of peeking around the buildings. You can see our airship in the distance there. We come over the bridge and yeah, it's sort of sitting in the air there. It's like uh, it's sort of uh, framing the, uh, the backdrop there. So you, rather than it just being just like uh, just the sky up there, you now have this, uh, this awesome design bridge that Gray's done for the, the harbour itself. And then uh, you have our airship just literally just dominating the skyline, those on um, those Demelza class, or that one's going to be the Unorthodox class because it's a trading vessel instead. But uh, yeah, it's sort of dominating the skyline a bit over there. I love it. I absolutely love the look of that one. But uh, yeah, this is awesome down here. But in the meantime, let's get back over to the Dragon Spire, shall we? Because, you know... You may have seen like the last thing that we had done and the Dragon Spire was not there and we did the bit earlier in this episode where it's all gone and people may be worried because that's a lot of a build and it's all disappeared so let's, we might have to get back and see if anyone sort of repaired it up. And here's something odd, I was just coming down to my nether portal and I found hundreds and hundreds of zombified piglins around the area, like way more than I expected to ever see in this area. It's like the whole place has been filled up with an army of zombified piglins. I wasn't sure if there's some kind of prank or some kind of bug or what had gone on with this one. Um, but yeah, you can see they're everywhere. Where'd they all come from? Well, would you look at this? The base is back. It's all intact. Maybe it was never happened before. Maybe it just never did actually happen. Maybe we just made it all up. Well, technically everything here is made up because you know, it's a computer game. But, yeah, I mean, what you saw there and what you saw in the sort of special unorthodox blocks extra you saw where we were blowing up the base was actually a test server. Uh, we were in a creative mode and we needed to basically stress test the server. So to do so, we were like, right, okay, how can we test this server to see how far we can push it? Well, the answer was to load up the biggest thing on the server, which is this place, is the Draken Spire, and just blow it to smithereens. <laughs> that was the answer. It was quite fun to do, but obviously we're not going to really blow up this base because it worked so hard on this for what's coming up to a year. It was at the end of May I was accepted on Awful on Blocks, and I think I released my first episode just at the beginning of June when we first came over here and just built this segment here right at the front and obviously this base has grown significantly over the space of the year we have done so much here i am can't believe how much we've done here actually it's quite a considerable amount of stuff um we've got everything here from the lighthouse there through to the inner city here we've got blast chambers we've got the spire itself we've got the air harbor all these airships floating around the place and we are still carrying on we've got an outer city that we have started building we also have the Greater Dragon Spire beyond. We've got these farms that are being built out here as well. These are coming along well. And um, yeah, I haven't got much more to show that I have built this uh, this episode. I've had a couple of weeks of a bit of a, a wind down. I've not been well. I've had my vaccine uh, for uh, COVID a couple of weeks ago. That wasn't too bad, but then I was a bit ill this week as well. I don't think that was related. I think that was something a little bit separate. A bit of a migraine and headaches and stuff like that, which I get every now and then. So uh, that's why we were missing an episode last week is because it hasn't been a great couple of weeks. But uh, I have been working a little bit over here. You can see this area here. We've got all this sort of kind of mud being built up here. I haven't finished it. You can sort of take off and we can look down. And you can see that I've put all the coarse dirt down for this area. This is sort of the extent of it, but I've also got to still put all the granite in and all the terracotta in. And this is going to be then, I'm going to put a load of like tree stumps and stuff like this. And we're going to put probably like a little logging area over, just tucked in over here at the beginning of it with the path coming through to here. This is going to be like our logging base here. So it's going to be like um, where they've deforested the place. We might have like a little small airship or two down here as well, sort of lifting logs. We'll try and get that one completed for the next episode, um, which will be pretty cool to actually look at when it's finally finished. But yes, this says we're 
as the sunset's coming along here, we haven't blown up the Dragon Spire. It is still there. Fear not. Um, but if you've enjoyed this episode or any of the rest of our episodes, please do drop us a like and drop us a subscription as well if you're not already subscribed. It all helps us immensely on the channel here. We also have a couple of other new channels that are coming up as well. We have... Uh, I have mentioned this a, a few times previously, but I've got a brand new channel just starting up as well, so I would really appreciate you guys having a look at that one as well. That's called the Dragon Spaceworks. That's going to be my new Star Citizen channel, where we're starting a podcast that we're going to probably be kicking out maybe on a Sunday night, maybe Monday night, somewhere around there. I haven't quite decided. We might experiment with it over the next couple of weeks to see what day we will release the podcast. Um, but we all have this new podcast going up every week as well with our thoughts and views on Star Citizen uh, as that game continues to develop. But um, I've been the Draken. This has been the Draken Game Works. Thank you all very much for joining us. Don't forget to check out the other members on the Unlawful Block server down in the comments uh, in the comments below, in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this, or if there's anything else you'd like to see around the Draken Spire, um, or if you've got any other ideas about things that we should build in the Draken Spire, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to read them. But in the meantime, you guys all take care. Have a great one. Good night. Bye.